All right, how's it going, guys? I wanted to show you a new offering that I've been seeing at my local Walmarts, and that's this Tulamax brass ammo in the 100-round, uh, like, um, cylinders. Um, they're plastic, and uh, that's what they look like on the inside, just loose, loose rounds. And then what we noticed, actually, is because I had a box of this stuff sitting in the truck from earlier, and this is made in, where did it show it at? Right on the front. Italy. Okay, this box is made in Italy. Okay, so this uh, the boxed ammo, the boxed brass max is made in Italy, and this stuff is made in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, so I've never even heard of that place, but uh, so it's made in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So uh, uh, anyway, but I wanted to uh, show you guys uh, what the these bulk packs look like. Uh, just like this, like loose, loose rounds. And one thing I like about the Tulamax is that it seems to be really, really high polished ammunition. Um, really nice looking, looking rounds. But one thing we noticed in this pack right here was this round. And check that out, guys. That's a primer that was been put in backwards. So that primer right there was seated backwards in this, in this uh, casing. So uh, it's kind of funny. It's uh, it's definitely an anomaly. So this is what it looks like uh, properly seated on the inside. And then if you see on that left, that is the primer backwards. So you can see the, the ignition uh, material in there, which is like a purple or a pink. Anyway, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put some of these rounds through the, um, the uh, Project Glock, and we'll see how well it runs, and we'll, we'll compare the two. We'll compare the Italian-made to the bosnian Herzegovinian. Uh, uh, rounds. So, okay, let's go ahead and take some shots with it. All right, now we're going to be shooting the uh, Tulamax. This is the stuff made in Italy. Now we're going to be shooting it out of the Project Glock, which has got the uh, the forty to nine conversion barrel in it. So, so this is the Project Glock. There it is. There's 19 rounds for the Italy made. So let's go and shoot the Herzgovnia, Herzgovnia. Which is also known as Bosnia. The Herzgovnian Bosnian ammo. So, so I noticed that the Herzgovnian Bosnian is uh, a little bit more polished on the casing than the uh, Italian made. It really is. Well, you know those Herzgovnians. They, they, are they like very, to polish. They like pay attention to detail. You see that? That yeah. slap. Slap nice. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice. All right. Long live Herzgovnia. Herzgovnia. Nice. Okay, so we're comparing the Italian made and the Herzgovnian. And you can see that the Herzgovnian uh, Bosnian is a bit more on the shiny side. And then you have like, you know, like duller brass, a little bit more yellow. Look at that. Like you can see like annealing, annealing marks and stuff still on it. So the Italian quality control is not quite as up to, sp up to par it's as the Herzgovnian. Those her those Herzgovnian. I mean, they take pride. They take pride in their making of their ammunition. They take pride in their ammunition. Sure These do. Italians, man, I'll tell you what, they are slipping. I think they I see are some, slipping. Look is at that. that pasta sauce. Yeah, I think there is some pasta on that. Pasta splatter. Seriously, guys, those Italians need to step it up. The Italians are all like, "You can't be mad at us. We invented spaghetti." Oh no, I love spaghetti. I love my Italian. Seriously, and that's the, the thing is, they're like. Look at our spaghetti. Don't look at our quality control on our ammunition. But the Herzgovnians are like, you know what? We'll eat after we're done. That's working right. Working on our ammunition. We ain't taking us for the that's We're not taking. That's correct. They are working. They are hard-working people. Seriously. Those Herzgovnians, not a single malfunction. All right, some final thoughts on the uh, 
the Tula Brass Max, the Herd Govnian gets my my uh, my tip of the hat for sure. I'll tell you what, for practice ammunition, you cannot beat it. It's, yep. It's very reliable. I've shot this before, but not the Herzegovina yeah. manufacturer. I've been shooting the Italian version, and they both are actually very good. Yep, so. totally fine. Uh, feel free to buy them, guys. They're, the price is right. These were, What was this, 23 bucks this for 100 is, uh, 21 <laughs> No, it's twenty two ninety seven. Yeah, twenty two ninety seven at Walmart. Yeah. So for hundred rounds, that's that that the price is spot on for that stuff. And that's about four dollars less than the Winchester, which is reloadable right. rounds too. But you know, like uh, yeah, the Winchester is like twenty six something a box. Yeah, for hundred. Twenty six ninety The only thing is, is in the Hers no Herzgovian, we found one reversed primer. Right. Correct. Which might have messed up your gun. That might have popped that primer out or something. I mean, it could have done something different. So I'm glad we caught that. But other than that, it was good to go. All right, guys, there you go. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to take a moment and hit that uh, like button if you do like what you see. Uh, don't forget also to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this in the future. And as always, guys, thanks very, very much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Go, Hergosnia! How's it going guys? Coming at you with a little quick overview slash shoot review of the Ruger SR 1911. This is the commander size, so it's the mid-range uh, 1911 size with the four and a quarter inch barrel. This one has uh, the nice skeletonized trigger and hammer, beaver tail, beaver tail grip safety, wood grips. It has the non-ambidextrous thumb safety um, and the, uh, the three dot Novak sights. Uh, just a just a fantastic uh, 1911 offering by Ruger. You know the only thing I would say that I don't like with the um, 